The startup Smart Things has really made waves in the home automation market in recent years, uh, so much so that they were acquired by Samsung. Uh, I used to have a Verilite home hub, and um, now I'm upgrading to this Smart Things, uh, mostly because the compatibility with my Logitech Harmony uh, remote control. Um, it was supposed to support Verilite, but it was going to require a Z-Wave extender of some sort that still isn't available by Logitech. So hey, new Smart Things hubs coming out, and uh, now branded by Samsung, which has a lot of money and uh, smart people behind that company. So uh, I'm excited to upgrade. It's supported by the Harmony, um, you know, right out of the Harmony's box. I think I have the ultimate home um, Harmony model. So uh, here it is, new Smart Things hub. Now branded by Samsung, beautiful packaging like you can always expect from Samsung. And let's take a look. We have an awesome magnetic clasp. It says hello. This looks like something you'd usually um, get with electronics that have a CD in it, but <laughs> Much to my happiness, CDs aren't included anymore. They say, download the latest version of the software from our website. So this is just a quick start guide that explains the parts, which I'll show you here. Here's the new SmartThings Hub 2.0. It's just called SmartThings Hub, but it's the second version of SmartThings, now branded by Samsung. We have the Ethernet cable that will plug into your router. Um, New for this version uh, is two USB ports. Also new uh, to this version is support for Bluetooth in addition to uh, Z-Wave and Zigbee that it's always supported. Um, it also lists uh, specific um, devices that can control like Belkin Wemo, Philips Hue Lights, Amazon Echo, which could be pretty cool to be able to talk to uh, Alexa and, and tell the Echo to make changes to your lighting locks or whatever else. Um, we have on the back, we can slide this open, battery backup, and just rip that off there. Um, comes with the four AA batteries. Probably don't need to show you how to put batteries in, but I will, because I'm setting up mine for the first time. I need to put them in there anyway. Now, my understanding is that the battery backup only supports smart lighting for now, but will eventually support everything in the smart home monitor section of the app. Let's see if I can... There we go. And I think the, uh, the biggest selling point for this really um, to users who have already had smart things is the fact that it supports local processing so that means the old smart things hub every single command you'd send um, from the app uh, any triggering events would have to go to smart things um, servers on the internet process the command and send it back um, to your house to make the change uh, it didn't take too long but definitely uh, <laughs> introducing latency when it's bouncing through routers on the internet so this supports local processing, um, which is what I'm used to with the Verilite that I came from. Um, now that it supports that, it was, it was an easy decision to make, especially, like I said, with the uh, easy compatibility with the Logitech Ultimate Home Remote that I have, or Smart Home, whichever it is. So here it is, Smart Things Hub. It already lit up once I put batteries in it. I'm going to go fire it up on the network. Thanks for watching.